All right, so first of all, I didn't realize Ben Stein was still alive. But second of all, I didn't realize that he was uh, actually kind of based as well. So the other day, he posted a video on Truth Social where he was basically showing support and remembering uh, Aunt Jemima. You remember Aunt Jemima, right? From like three years ago before she was canceled for no reason at all, right? Uh, the mascot of Syrup. Well, he showed support for her in a video, and the left mob cancel culture weirdos are coming after him, labeling him a racist. It's just it's for showing support for an African-American woman. Can't make this up. This is, this is hilarious, but just fucking ridiculous. These people are mental. Ben Stein, I miss when a large African-American woman was on Aunt Jemima Syrup. And I do too. Those were the good old days. Actor Ben Stein is getting slammed on social media after posting a bizarre video talking about Aunt Jemima Syrup, which has been renamed to Pearl Milling Company, which is just an awful, terrible name. Stein, 78, opened the video posted to Truth Social by explaining he was making breakfast for dinner. Uh, quote, Aunt Jemima, yummy pancake syrup. Now, this used to show a large African-American woman chef, but because of the inherent racism of Americans' corporate culture, they decided to make it a white person. <laughs> or maybe no person at all, Stein said. He continued, but I prefer when it was a black person showing their incredible skill at making pancakes. So, God bless you all and have a good evening. There you have it. That's all he said. And <laughs> these people are losing their minds for showing support for a black woman mascot. The beloved syrup got a rebrand after the 130 year old uh, maple syrup mascot was scrutinized over its ties to slavery in 2020. The logo was originally inspired by the 19th century Mammy minstrel character, a black woman who was co uh, content to serve her white masters. Twitter users dragged the Ferris, uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off actor over his comments. Quote, Is anyone surprised that Ben Stein is a racist? Anyone, anyone? Bueller? I miss the good old days when Ben Stein was famous for saying Bueller. A prime example of when you don't know the context and history behind a conversation, you should just shut the fuck up and listen. How about you suck my balls? How about that? I like my pancake syrup served out of a bottle that is a literal racist trope. Oh my god, these people are mental. Are, these people are so miserable. Even actress Ellen Barkin chimed in. I have no idea who Ellen Barkin is, but let's hear what she has to say. Please don't call Ben Stein an actor. It makes us all look bad. No, you make yourself look bad. Hollywood in general just makes themselves look bad. It's not a very good place. In June 2020, Quaker Oats announced Aunt Jemima's retirement, saying the uh, character's origins are based on a racial stereotype. While the name on the box has changed, the great tasting product, uh, the pearl inside the familiar red box, remains the same, with a mission to create joyful breakfast moments for everyone, the company said on its website when announcing the name change. We recognize Aunt Jemima's origins are based on a racial stereotype. Kristen, I don't fucking know what her last name is, Vice President and Chief Marketing Officer of Quaker Foods North America said in a statement. The PepsiCo subsidiary uh, representative added that retiring Jemima from syrup packaging was part of an effort by the company to make progress toward racial equality by getting rid of the African American woman. These, oh, uh, it's. You can't make this up. It's too funny. All right? These are the same people that will cry and bitch about, uh, you know, uh, diversity, inclusion, representation. But then they go ahead and get rid of all of that. Get rid of the representation. Leave all the white mascots. It's, I mean, they did the same thing with, like, sports teams. Right, they got rid of, like, what, the Chiefs, Redskins. Uh, well, I'm a Cleveland guy, all right? So they got rid of the Indians. Cleveland Indians. Chief Wahoo, gone. Right? These people got to ruin everything. They're just, oh, it's just sad. I mean, there are some people, though, that are showing support for him, which I do appreciate. So here's uh, some people just on Twitter that are showing support. I had a dream when I was a little boy that I made pancakes for Aunt Jemima and she loved them. True story. God bless her. I do too. She exuded warmth and love. 
Me too. She was an amazing role model for business women that made it big. I loved Aunt Jemima. I mean, yeah, everyone loved it. Nobody had a problem with it. It was a tribute to her legacy, now deleted from history. Yep. Yep. Uh, I mean, it's just, yeah, right here. This is perfect. So, yeah, <laughs> right? Cancel culture be like. You got the Lando Lakes uh, lady, you got the Quaker Oats, Aunt Jemima, Uncle Ben, and then it, it drops one of them off, then drops another, and all you're left with is the Quaker Oats dude. <laughs> I mean, the white dude <laughs> got rid of all the representation, all the diversity, all the POCs, and that's progress. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, yeah, uh, this one right here. I see uh, they had the Lando Lakes Native American. And then uh, all you're left with is the land. Get rid of the Indian and kept the land. These are the people that are pushing for progress and representation. It's absolutely hilarious, but these people are a joke. They're clowns. Um, I support and respect Ben Stein for coming out and saying this. I think it was pretty based. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will talk to you later.